everyone. We're Nick. And Rachel. If you're new here and haven't been following our adventures around the world so far, you'll know that typically our videos are really documenting our travels as we go through each country. But with these types of videos, we're trying to do something a little bit different. And that is due to the fact that each of the countries that we visited usually offer something a little bit different to what we are accustomed to in the UK and Canada. That's right. The reason we have this channel is in the hopes of inspiring others to travel more. So with that, we want to share some of the tips and tricks that we've picked up along the way about each of the different countries so that if you want to go and visit these different countries, you'll be armed with some information and knowledge so that it will help make navigating around a little bit easier than it was for us. If you haven't already guessed, today's video is all about navigating through Slovenia. If you haven't seen our travels so far, then we went through Ljubljana and Lake Bled. If you have already seen these videos, thank you very much. Either way, go give them another look. They're fun. As ever, while a few pointers will be specific to these two places, the other pointers that we are planning on giving should give you just a little bit of added context to the country itself. We hope you find them useful. As was the case in Italy, you'll be really pleased to know that tap water in at least Loviana and Lake Bled, I can't speak for the rest of the country, are absolutely pristine so you can definitely drink them and there are public fountains that offer free potable water within the city. A note about Loviana is that there is also free Wi-Fi within the city. How great is that? In terms of other budget conscious choices, there are a range of very, very good restaurants available that provide you with local food and great delicacies, which include sausages, cheeses, and local baked goods as well. However, if you are trying to be a little bit more budget conscious, like we were, then it is worth noting that grocery stores are very, very cheap, even in comparison to the rest of Europe. In fact, when we went to one of the main markets within Ljubljana, we actually found that their prices were higher than the grocery store that we were going into. So that is definitely something worth bearing in mind there. However, it is worth noting that a lot of these establishments will be closed on Sundays. So if you are trying to plan for your day and you are gonna be staying within Slovenia on a Sunday, it's best to prepare around that. If you've watched any of our videos, you'll probably know how much we love a free walking tour. And fortunately, free walking tours are available in Ljubljana. We definitely recommend going on one of these tours because they provide you with information about the city's history and culture and also give you some really good local recommendations. Often as part of these walking tours, because this is one of the major attractions within Ljubljana, then a trip to the castle is a must. However, unlike with other attractions where you would expect to pay a full entrance fee and that would give you access to everything, it actually turns out that most of the castle in Ljubljana is free. The only paid parts are to do with gift shops, restaurants, cafes, and there are certain museum exhibits, which are more special exhibitions. But otherwise, beyond that, the vast majority of the castle, including some of the really, really cool bits, are free. So if you really do want to visit the castle, do not be put off by the price point. You'll still get a great experience all the same. Getting yourself between Ljubljana and Lake Bled is pretty easy. There is very regular bus service that runs at minimum once an hour, and it's not that far to go. I think the journey time is about 60 to 80 minutes, and the best thing about this is it's not that expensive. I think that for the two of us, it was maybe about five euros. So. For that kind of distance, that seems pretty reasonable. You can reserve your bus tickets ahead of time or you can buy them at the bus station. But what I would recommend you do is look online at the timetable just to see what option best suits you. Once you do get to Lake Bled, then the first thing that you do come up against is Bled the town itself. And it is worth noting, it is just a very small town. It's not that touristy, it's not that built up by way of infrastructure. So 
don't rely on public transport when you're there. However, the great thing, because it is so small, is that it is walkable. So you can navigate around on foot with basically no problems. And while there is something of a tourist street, the closer that you get to the lake and a few lakeside restaurants, the vast majority of the rest of it outside of the town is kind of farmland, really. Lobiana is a very well-connected city. There are a ton of bus links to other major European cities in that area. For example, we went from Lobiana to Zagreb by bus. And I don't know how much we've talked about this before, but one of the great things about bus travel within Europe is there are a lot of kind of discount bus companies. And one thing that you should be aware of, because this happened to us, is that the discount bus companies don't always come to a marked platform at the station. So in Ljubljana, we were picked up kind of on the side of the road, just outside of the bus station. And it ended up all working out fine, but I can understand why someone else would be nervous that you would just miss the bus or the bus wouldn't stop because certainly that was part of our concern. But just know that that is kind of normal, that buses may not go to a marked platform in Ljubljana. It could be on the street in front of the bus terminal. The good thing is though, more often than not, if you're not a hundred percent sure as to where you should be standing to get said bus then you can always consult at the bus station ticketing counter because they will always know where you should be and that's about our list short and sweet in comparison to a number of other countries but we did only spend a short time there so it kind of goes hand in hand that all said we hope that these tips and tricks have been useful to you and if you do end up going to Slovenia, then we hope that you do take some of these on board and that they do help you in your travels there. It's a beautiful country. It definitely deserves being enjoyed. And we hope that by putting this video out there, it helps with that enjoyment. If you've been to Slovenia, we would love to hear your tips and tricks as well. So please leave a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time though, take care. And keep smiling.